Well, I was think, trying to think of a name for my art. All artists have to have a name, so I, uh, we were thinking about it and throwing names out there, and my son says, hey, how about Weird Ear? And I thought to myself, why? And he says, you got a big, fat, weird ear. Hey, you have a cauliflower ear. Yeah, a cauliflower ear from a hockey injury, so Perfect. I love it. And stuck. I was born and raised in Gross Point, Michigan, in 1955. Okay. And um, how do you think that your childhood affected your creative abilities? Well, I saw my mother doing all her painting and all her little crafts, and uh, she inspired me, mm -hmm. you know. I like to work with metal first, but I like stained glass or any kind of glass or mosaic or just anything really that I can put together and make something out of. I mean, it doesn't have to be glass or metal. Mm -hmm. It can be any any kind of material. You know. Anywhere and everywhere. Anything that's thrown away, I'll take. Sculptures were kind of plain, and then I would add stuff to them. I spray paint them, and then I grind them off. With then the spray paint would stay in the low spots. We'd give it a different effect. Mm -hmm. How did inspiration begin? Were you at work? Were you at home? What what gave you the idea? Like let let me take this metal and make something sweet out of it. Uh, well, probably because I like to weld, mm -hmm. and if it's metal, I can weld it. Mm -hmm. So I like to weld stuff together. That's awesome. You know. Right. Uh, probably since 2003. Wow. My first, uh, yeah, it was a reconditioned uh, shepherd's hook for holding plants. And uh, my wife put a plant on a shepherd's hook that we got her for her Mother's Day, and it uh, filled it with water, and it just bent right over, so I reinforced it with different pieces of rod and and I made a face out of a piece of sheet metal and probably my airplanes. Um, they're they're a little more traditional. A little more traditional but they're really neat to look at. He's just always been doing things. Ever since I've known Tom, he has always been working with his hands, putting things together. He's always had that creative energy. Always. Probably all my family yeah. inspire me to keep keep doing it. Mm -hmm. You know, but. Well, I don't know, just because just I enjoy doing it. But everybody around me, my family, is probably the main inspiration to do it. Hmm. Are you ready? Now for branding Weird Ear. We're, uh... We're in the color here. <laughs> Putting the art stamp of the artist. Awesome. Put the MC in it. Smell it. It's awesome. There it is. McCarthy and Weird This one didn't get as hot.
open it'll be on there. 